Hey guys, so um, today I have for you the um, Jade Holographic Polishes. I don't have all of them, um, but I do have a lot of them, so I just wanted to go ahead and um, go over all the colors with you and show you the swatches. So um, these polishes I got on um, ninjipolish.com, and I'll put the link below, and I believe they were $7 a bottle. So um, a lot of these words I can't pronounce, so I will try my best. This first one is um, the silver, almost like a um, white holographic polish. And this one is called, it's right down here, Psychedelica. You can see it there. Like I said, this is the silver one. It's almost like a white holographic polish. You can see all that shimmer in there. Now these, I do not believe, um, are three or four free. The smell on these is very, very strong. Um, I haven't smelled polish like that in a long time, so that was kind of shocking, but they're still really pretty, so I can get past that. So anyways, this is the swatch of Psychedelica. So you can see it's not quite silver. It's almost like white. Um, on the nail, which is pretty cool. And that is two coats. But you can see like how holographic these are. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, the next one I have is this blue one. And this one is called Hypnos. You can see it there. And this is a like ocean blue color. Really, really, really pretty. So that's the bottle and here's the swatch. And again, that's two coats. This one could have done um, just fine with just one coat. And with these, you can see it has that linear holographic when I move my finger back and forth, but then it also um, has that scattered holographic as well, which is really cool. So that's Hypnos. Um, this next one is this bright pink, and this one's called Deja Vu. And this is more of um, like a berry pink color. There, I have a few, I have three pinks, so. I'll show you the difference between the three. That's Deja Vu, and here's the swatch. Like I said, this is more of like a magenta berry color. And this is another one that could have um, been just fine with just one coat. Okay. Um, the next one I have is called Energy, and this is like a teal um, green color. It's, it's more leaning towards green, but this is what it looks like in the bottle. And here it is swatched on the nail. These are so, so pretty. I love them. And for a really good price as well. And I know with um, Ninja Polish, if you order like a certain amount, I can't remember, I think it's like 50 maybe or 40, um, then shipping is free. So that's really cool. Um, this next one is called Delirio Rosa. I'm so sorry if I totally butchered that. And this is a hot pink hollow. This one is probably my favorite one. Really, really bright, bright pink, like a Barbie pink. And here it is swatched on my thumb, and that's two coats. Somebody asked me one time why I move my finger back and forth like that. Um, it's just so you guys can see the linear holographic or the sparkle. That's the only reason. 
Okay, so there's Delirio Rosa. The next one is this purple, and it is, oh my gosh, I'm not you, uh, Festinio Violetta? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the name right there. Okay, so this one is a, um, like a true purple um, holographic color. And here it is swatched on my thumb. And that's two coats. This one um, definitely needed two coats. The first coat was pretty sheer, but um, you'll notice with some of these, the first coat is kind of sheer, but once you put that second coat on, it just builds up that color and it's totally opaque. I have um, quite a few holographic polishes and I'd say um, after getting these, my top two favorite would probably be the color clubs and then um, the jades. Okay, so there's the purple. The next one is this one and it is, that's the color right there. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and say it. I've already butchered too many. So that's the color and this is a red holographic polish and I have not seen any red holographic polishes um, I know Layla has one called like red taboo but it's actually a bright pink so I've never seen like a true red holographic polish until I found this one and it is gorgeous third is swatched it's leaning a little more orange on camera but it's definitely um red like a more maroon red color So there's that one. Um, the next one is this black one, and it is Magia. I don't know, it's right there. And this is a black holographic. I have um, quite a few black holographic polishes, but I just wanted to get this one out of the collection. Um, it's more of a dark, dark, dark gray, like charcoal um, color. The first colors or the first coat is pretty sheer, um, but once you put that second coat on, it um, definitely makes it opaque. It's in between like a dark, dark charcoal gray and black. It's not quite black, but it will do. So there's the black one. These colors are so, so pretty. I love them. Okay, the next one here is called, it's right there, U-A-U-L. And um, this is a orange holographic polish. And again, I have not seen an orange one before, so I was excited to pick this one up. It is so, so pretty. Now, these polishes are showing um, indoors with, like, artificial lighting. So, outside in the sun, these are, like, ten times more amazing. Um, I had them out in the sun, and I was just like, oh, my goodness, they're so pretty. So, if you can just imagine what they look like in the sun, they are gorgeous. Okay, so that is the orange one. And then the last one I have swatched is this one right here. And this is Irresistible. And this is like a taupey beige color. You can see how shimmery that is. And um, with a few of these, I've actually stamped with them and they stamp really, really well. Like um, this blue one here stamps really well and this pink one stamps really good and then the black one as well. Um, I can't, oh yeah, and then I've tried the, this red one stamps really good too.
So that's really neat um, to have like a holographic stamp over your nails. So that's the beige one and here it is swatched. That's two coats. So if you want something a little more subtle, I would go with this one. It's really pretty. Okay, and then the last two, um, I swatched on a nail wheel just because I don't have any more fingers. So this one is another one of the purples, or the pinks, I'm sorry. And it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And here it is in the bottle. And this pink is like in between um, this berry color and this Barbie color. So if you were to kind of mix these two up, this is what it would look like. And here it is swatched. Okay, and then um, the next one I have is the gold. And this one is Mystic Gold. That one was easy to say, thank goodness. So this is like a yellow, yellow gold color. It, it's more like yellow than gold. And there it is in the bottle. And here it is swatched on the nail wheel. And um, these two on the nail wheels are both two coats. Okay, um, and then one more thing. A lot of people have been asking me which top coat I use um, for my holographic polishes that don't that doesn't dull them. Um, some of them you can get away using um, Sesh Vite, which I love, and then some of them you can't. So you kind of just um, got to play around with them. But... This is the one that, this is like my go-to top coat for holographic polishes because I've never had an issue to where this top coat um, will dull any of them. And it's HK Girl, and it's by Glistening Glow. I'll put her link down below. Um, and I believe these are $6 a bottle. Um, I might be wrong. I'll put the price down below as well so you guys can check this out. But I absolutely love this top coat. It um, wears just like Sesh V. It's that thick, um, glossy, glossy top coat, but it doesn't dull out um, the hollow, which is amazing. So um, anyways, I'll put that down below. Um, these are all of the colors of my Jade Polish collection. I hope you guys like this and make sure you check out um, my giveaway. It's still going on for another week and there's a ton of polish and um, nail art supplies stuff in there. So go ahead and check that out and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.